on today. I have... Welcome to Science Talk Episode 4. What is Mercury? Well, some of you guys know that Mercury is the closest to the Sun, but but some don't know the mass or the diameter, so that's why I'm making this video for some of you guys. So, well, let's say that Mercury was, or I should say it's about 330, hmm, what am I say, maybe 330 so billion kilograms, I might say, or, or 55 thousandths times the mass of Earth. That's how big it is. But, believe it or not, in comparison, Mercury is smaller than Earth. About, but Mercury, believe it or not, is the closest to the Sun. Like I said. So, but the diameter of the equatorial and polar is about both 4,879. The circumference, however, is about 15,329 kilometers. There are no moons on Mercury. Like, no moons. But Earth does have a moon. However. So, its distance is about 57,909,229 kilometers. And its period is about 88 days long. That's short. Well, you know what, guys? If it's... It could be about 277 less days than Earth. That's maybe because it rotates faster. I don't know. But what I know is the temperature is about approximately 173 degrees Celsius below freezing. To about 427 degrees. So, what I was about to do, guys, is, so that's about negative 279 degrees. That is freezing. 279.4 degrees below freezing. In Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Or whatever. But 427 degrees equals about 800 degrees. Approximately 800 to 801. That's pretty hot for Mercury. The sun is probably the biggest of all. But who cares? However, it was first recorded in around 1300 BC. Yeah, 14th century BC. So, that's like a long time from now. Very long time from now. It was recorded by Assyrian astronomers. Or Assyrian astronomers. This is unlike. This is unlike Jupiter or Uranus and Neptune. Very unlikely. But we'll find out about that. It is the smallest planet in the solar system, believe it or not. I bet some of you guys know that, but one of the five planets can be visible with the naked eye. Venus. Neptune or Jupiter cannot be seen by a naked eye. 
And Mercury is just about 4,879 kilometers across its equator. But they're about comparable 12,742 kilometers with their also, Mercury is actually the second densest planet. What I believe is the most densest planet, y'all. Hmm. I think the densest planet may be Earth. That's us. But even though the planet's small, it's dense. Very dense. Each cubic centimeter has a density of 5.4 grams. That's a high density. But Earth has the highest density because of the amount of water there is. Maybe so. But this is largely due to metals and rocks on Mercury. It also has wrinkles. As the iron core of the planet is cooled and contracted, the surface of the planet became wrinkled. Scientists have named these wrinkles low base scarps. These scarps can be up to a mile high and hundreds of miles long. So that's like about Say a scarp is about 2,500 feet high and 800 miles. That's how Mercury is like. But core is actually mold. In years from NASA or also known as yeah, or also known as. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration have come to believe the solid iron core of Mercury could be a fact mountain. Normally, the core of small planets cools rapidly. After extensive research, lighters were not aligned with those who expected from the solid core. Scientists now believe the core can be contained a lighter element such as sulfur. Which will lower the temperature of the core material. It's estimated Mercury's core makes about 42 percent of the core. So that's a lot of a core. There, and the rest is about 58 percent. So, so the Earth's core makes about 17 percent, 83 percent. Who knows? But believe it or not, Mercury is not the hottest planet, however. Actually, Venus expects higher temperatures. The surface of Mercury, which faces the sun's temperatures, is about 427 degrees Celsius, or 800.6 degrees Fahrenheit. While on the alternate side, it can be as low as 173 degrees below freezing Celsius. This is due to the planet having no atmosphere. Earth does and help regulate the temperature. It's about negative two hundred seventy nine point four degrees Fahrenheit. That is cold. But ain't cold as Neptune. Neptune is actually the coldest planet around. But believe it or not, Mercury is actually the most crater planet of the solar system. Unlike many other planets with self heal through natural geological processes, the surface of Mercury is covered in craters. This is caused by encounters with asteroids and comets. Most Mercurian craters are after famous writers, named after famous writers and artists. Any crater Larger than 250 kilometers in diameter, or kilometers in diameter. Yeah, that is not cool. Right there. Yeah. 
longer than 155 miles. It can be also known as a basin. The Calaris Basin is the largest crater on Mercury, covering approximately 1,550 kilometers in diameter. That's huge, man. You know how long that would like be? Approximately 960 miles. That's huge. It was discovered in 1974 by the Mariner 10 probe. Only two spacecrafts have ever visited Mercury. It was a difficult planet to visit due to the proximity of the Sun. During the 1974 and 1975, Mariner 10 flew by Mercury about approximately three times. During this time, they met just under half of the planet's surface, or 50% of the planet's surface. However, on August 3, 2004, the messenger probe was launched from Cape Canberra Force Station. This was the first spacecraft to visit since the mid-70s. But Mercury was also known as, or named after, the Roman messenger to the gods. The exact date? I'm not sure. But it was all known as its previous dates, or predates, its first historical mention. Well, Mercury has an atmosphere, however. Well, sort of. I'm not sure. But who knows. But Mercury is just about 38 percent of the gravity on Earth. This is too little to hold on to what atmosphere it has which is blown away by solar winds. However, while gases escape into space, they are constantly being repelled at the same time by the same solar winds. Radioactive decay and dust caused by micrometeors. So meteors can be around near Mercury, believe it or not. But, however, Mercury completes about three rotations about its axis, and up till 1965. It was thought that the same side of Mercury constantly faced the Sun. Thirteen times a century, Mercury can be observed from the Earth, passing across the face of the Sun, an event called a transit. The next one, however, will occur on May 9th, 2016. Alright, that's how I've, that's how much I got, guys. Tomorrow's episode will be on Venus. Alright, stay tuned, guys. Take care.